Sitting with me and Rob, we are joined by Kate Sullivan, who is the executive editor for wordsmitten.com. Did I say that right? You did. You found me out. I did. We have we have found you out. But what an incredible niche. Life? What an oh. incredible niche market. Niche market. That, well, I mean, in a sense, well, it's, you're but it's very specific Mitten. for that is it niche, niche market. Or niche Depends on what country you're in. Okay, uh-huh. what about the United States here? Niche. Thank you. I've but been when telling you that to, for a long time. But when you're ignorant and you try to sound smart, it's niche. Okay, that's right. There. That's right. <laughs> very French of you. Well, very niche. niche of you. So it's very niche. Well, the tell us. you have. What what word smitten? What yes. what exactly does that mean? Does that mean people call you with phrases and you help them out with word? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well. No, not a word smith. <laughs> Well, we chose Word Smitten because there are a lot of Word Smiths yeah. out there. We report on the industry that publishes books, uh, whether it's Frank McCourt, Angela's Ashes, uh, whether it's memoir, whether it's autobiography. We report on who does it, who's mm-hmm. behind that screen, so that people who are writing their memoir, who are writing short stories or novels or nonfiction books, can figure out how do I do it? How do I get to where I need to be? If I've got a 300,000 word novel, oh. what's next? So, and we, we interview a lot of people. We interview uh, Peter Deckham, who is uh, the best literary and entertainment attorney in California. He has been the uh, entertainment lawyer for uh, Rob Reiner uh-huh. and Ronnie Howard. And one of the things we talk who about. Oh, it's Ronnie? Um, yeah. <laughs> Ronnie? <laughs> you know, Rob. Oh, the <laughs> yeah. rings a bell. Yeah, Rob. And one of the things that people want to know is what, what happens when my book is sold? How do I protect it? How do, How do I, I do protect a- it? How do I, where's that bridge from book to film? So are you kind of like an agent? No, that's one of the things that people get confused about. We really are, rep- I've been a journalist for 20 years and I worked uh, in Hawaii on a newspaper as a columnist and I've run magazines and this particular industry that we're in right now is burgeoning because everybody wants to write a book. And one of the things that we do best, we're a digital media company and we do our meta tags, our meta echoes, so that if you, as an example, if you Google Peter Deckham, D-E-K-O-M, we're number one. If you Google Diane Leslie, who's an author and a bookseller out at Dutton in California, we're number one out of 800,000 or 800 million. So we've become a leader in our industry at what we do, and what we do is help people figure out what's behind the curtain of publishing. How do I get my book published? And we've got an event coming up on June 9th at Feather Sound. We're flying in a Simon & Schuster editor. Uh, we've Simon got, & Schuster. Yeah, those uh, just a small outfit in New York. Margo Hammond, who was book editor for the St. Pete Times, is going to be teaching oh a lesson God. track. And we've got some uh, – Bob Plunkett from Sarasota Magazine is coming up, and he's going to be teaching what do editors want? What do they want? It's not what you think. That's what Bob says. You have you have a um, you've brushed over a lot of things. I'm just going to summarize the uh, conversations and information people can pick up on your website from lawyers and from people that have been in this entertainment business for literary a long time. agents, literary publishing agents. executives, book acquisition editors. They'll tell you everything. Yes, and yeah. that's the great part about it is because now a lot of those services are free. You're com- you're connecting the community to yes. make it a better community to do something for yourself to yes. fulfill something inside you. Yes. There are also some things that you're doing that you charge for that you also offer services well, on there as well because up, that's right? important too, isn't it? Well, we we provide writing workshops. And one of the things that we do at the workshop is we <clears throat> allow people to bring in their manuscripts and it's really hands-on. You know, what am I doing with this manuscript? Is it going to be a bestseller? Well, maybe not. Mm. And how do I make it a bestseller? Well, you don't make a book a bestseller. You do your best. You and do your best. You get guided by people that it's have had them. Just like the ratings on television, if you've got a bestseller, you're not the one that's going to be implementing that bestsellerism. <laughs> that <laughs> word. I don't know if that's I, a cares? word. But if you, I'm going to, I'm going to have to default to you. Do you if, think? If you saw some some book that really didn't have potential, would you tell them, you know what, this really isn't your calling? I'm yeah, a journalist. I don't pull my punches, and that's one of the reasons that I don't edit for people anymore. Because I used to, it's Her really hard feelings, to right? mop up the tears on their right. manuscript. I can't do it anymore. I can't tell them this is not your best work. 
you need to find some other avenue for your writing skills. So then what or, do you, you do? Or you know what? You should what? tell them to go get a different job. See, that's what I would do. I'd be like, you know what? Listen. Keep your day job. This is absolutely <laughs> ridiculous. What are you doing? <laughs> Throw your computer out. Yeah, no, I want to hear a story. I want yeah, to hear something a, that tell us a, happened Tell us a good you. story of a book that you maybe read or a, a manuscript that you read. And it was just Great like, story. Bad. We've got a, we've got, we give away money, which is really ridiculous. Which I'm going to be there on Thursday. <laughs> okay. <waiting. laughs> I'll write you the check. Okay. We give out scholarships twice a year and we we give it to people who have sent us short stories and one of the short story uh, award winners was a gal named Maria Headley wonderful writer we were absolutely charmed by the short story she sent us she went on after we gave her the scholarship she went on to finish that book appeared on Katie Couric in the morning show and before Katie went right. to her nighttime, I got a call. From, our servers are up in Massachusetts. I got a call from my webmaster up there. He said, what did you do? I said, what do you mean what did I do? He said, you broke our servers. I said, I didn't break the servers. I'm, you know, I'm here in Florida. What? Evidently, I got 1,700 emails saying, congratulations, Maria Headley was on Katie Couric and wow, mentioned wordsmitten.com. Awesome. And I said, my God, it's like being hit by lightning. Oh, wow. So that's a success story that we really are thrilled about because she's a wonderful gal, lovely writer, living out in Seattle. Then she wrote a book called The Year of Yes, in which she talked about everybody that she dated over an entire year. She said no to no one. She was so frustrated with cool. dating that she's she not said, in Tampa anymore. <laughs> she was in Seattle when this happened. I'm kidding. I'm coming to get the check, and I'm going out with Miss Yes. Is there something wrong with that? There's nothing wrong with that. So what are you two <laughs> doing here? <laughs> <laughs> well, finish the story. So she yeah, wrote the I'm book sorry. about you. So yes. the Year of Yes was a bestseller, and we really we were delighted to play a tiny little part in launching her career. So that's what we do. We discover writers. We give them the encouragement that they need. That is wonderful. I you know, that, that is a that's a great story because it goes from almost the – it's all the way from the inspiration, the help, the making it happen, to the return, to what people have... It's a lot of fun. Because she didn't it have is. to say anything about it. Yeah. Yeah. That's the great part yeah. about it. So it must have yeah. really inspired her and really been a big part of her life and her success. That's she wrote wonderful. us a wonderful thank you note. And we've That's given incredible. out scholarships Thank you, no. She should get a basket of cookies, some <laughs> thank lotions. Thank you, no. Give us some con <laughs> contact information if people want to attend at any of your upcoming workshops. Or oh, June, uh, June 9th, Saturday from... 8.30 in the morning till 4.30 at the Feather Sound Country Club. You can sign up online, wordsmitten.com. It is going to be a terrific event, a lot of fun. We've got the best five editors and a toddy. Anything can happen. Especially five, <laughs> five editors. One, yes, that's all you have to toddy. say is anything can happen. That's anything a great tagline. Anything that's can awesome. happen. Kate, thank you very much for coming and sharing your story. It was a pleasure to meet you and see you again. It yes, was. it was a pleasure. Yes, you guys go back. You guys know each other. We, we do. We go back to we don't know where, but we go back. It's probably some comma Ina yeah. thing from, from the islands.